Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's jump into this Aquarius. Let me take a drink of water. Um, hang on. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear and concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, it looks like um, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Hierophant. So how this reads is Queen of Pentacles, you're concerned about your well-being, your health, your vitality, your surroundings, your home, uh, beauty and luxury. Also, you are, um, the queens are the doers of the Tarot, so you are actively um, starting new streams of revenue um, or bringing in new streams of revenue, trying to bring in more resources uh, to maintain yourself and those that you are responsible for. Some of you are working mothers, um, therefore you are responsible for your children um, and you're doing a really good job at it. Um, the page of cups showing up. Um, someone you could have ended a connection with, or a romantic connection with, wants to reach out to you, wants to say something nice to you, an apology or sweet nothings. Maybe they even want to tell you their good news, that they're in love with you or something of that nature. Someone you also ended maybe even a legal or business matter with wants to reach out with to you and if it doesn't and if it's not that they want to reach out to you um it might be be a third party maybe another organization with a higher fan and whatever it needs to be said whatever needs to uh, be relayed to you it's good news it's good news about money matters because you have the justice card coming up um so whatever if this person did you wrong in business and legal affairs it's all going to come out in a wash. It's all going to turn right for you. Um, your wrongs will be righted. Um, repayment of debt uh, or debt owed to you or debts that you need to repay. Um, karmic debt also. Someone could feel like they are indebted to you. You treated them so well. You are so great or whatever they want to say to you. They feel like they owe you the apology. They feel like they, um, they need to repay you in some form. It could be a King of Cups. We have the King of Cups showing up. Someone who's very much in love with you. But he's also in love maybe elsewhere. Um, but options are open with the King of Cups. Even if he is not exploring all the options, he's a flirt. He likes to keep exes around to feed his ego. Um, he's very emotionally balanced. So he can, ha he can house all of those emotions um, those different emotions that we all go through, right? He can house them very well. He does very well with people because he knows how to govern his emotions accordingly. So he knows how to act with that person over there and then with that person over here and with that person over there. None of it affects him because he is the king of water. He's the king of cups, the king of emotions. So this person, um, their love for you could have been plural um and it very well still can be this person feels like um the relationship ended the connection ended it was open-ended i don't know but somehow there is a disconnect they want to reach out to you and they want to tell you with a hierophant that maybe they have um you know they have gone and try to reel things in or get some regimen about their lives or about themselves. They have their own personal religion or regimen that they're, they're going by. Basically, they want to say that they have changed and or they want to, this is a five card, right? With the hierophants so of the fives of the five of wands, the five of swords, uh, the five of pentacles, the five of cups. They want to tell you that they miss you. Uh, they have lack of confidence uh, in themselves right now and in uh, any other relationship outside of you um, that uh, being with you is is great that they don't want the neglect and the 
you ignoring them. They don't want that to happen anymore. Um, where are we, the five of wands that maybe that they're going to say they don't need all of that attention or they don't, they're not keeping up all of the hoopla and the childish behavior and the, you know, the different love affairs. They're not keeping it up anymore. And the drama, um, with the five of swords, they wanted to say that they feel like they failed with you. That maybe even there was like a level of self-destruction or self-sabotage. Um, maybe they want to tell you that you stole their heart, you know, when you left. Uh, you left them in an empty place. Um, they might even uh, admit that they were selfish and very self-aggressive. You know, very aggressive about what they wanted for themselves. And there was no room for compromise. This is what this person could want to say to you. Um, we have them watching you with the Nine of Wands. We have them watching you. We have them wanting to rush in. We have them saying, you know, this was such a rocky relationship, whether it was my fault or the other person's fault or Aquarius' fault. I don't know if I should still continue to fight for it. We have him, this person um, continuously looking at the past and not living in the present. We have someone last ditch, last ditch effort. Like this person knows this is the last ditch effort. This is the last time that they can do this or that you will allow them to come back into your sphere, your, your, your uh, life. This person could have, the relationship could have been off and on, hot and cold, non committal, in and out. But now, with this person being out, it looks like they want to come back in. When you left Aquarius, you upset the power dynamic with the Six of Pentacles. So the power dynamic was in the traditional tarot, there's a man given to two, you know, beggars or two people in need. That signifies a lot. You know, um, it signifies the obvious. There's somebody giving to two people. But it also signifies the fact that um, somebody's dividing themselves, of course, amongst two different things. And they feel like they have all the power because they are the giver. And, um... These people are waiting to receive their energy, their love, their time, their affection, their money. So your person um, was in that power dynamic of the giver. I'm giving over here, and then I give over here. Um, and maybe I've got somebody else over there too, but you know, I'm really gonna maintain these two relationships. Um, this person was you know, in their power. They felt like they had all the power, and when you left, you upset the power dynamic because now it's not two beggars waiting for the um, the man to give them resources. It's it's one, and this person probably doesn't even like one-on-one -on -one relationships. They could be waiting for you to reach out, or they're waiting for an opportunity. Yeah, they're waiting for you to reach out. They're up in their head about you. They want to reconcile badly. Like it is driving them nuts that you're away. They want your attention. They want your affection. They see you out strutting your stuff, looking good. They feel like you won this battle of this scandalous situation. Let's see what this person um, is going to do. It looks like they want to come in. They want to talk to you. This week you could be receiving a message or I don't know, time is Time is time. Time is fluid. Time is doing its own thing. So good luck with timing. Um, this is not a personal reading. It's a general reading. So keep that in mind. Let's see what this person wants to say to my Aquarius. What does this person... Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, wow. And what's the advice for the Aquarius here? 
Aquarius. Whoa, Aquarius. The advice is beautiful. Why? I'll show you one card at the bottom of the deck. The star card. Wow. This is magnificent. Um, if you would like to purchase the extended reading, the link is below. It's not a whole lot of money. Um, I'm trying to get Patreon set up where it'll be a monthly thing that you pay and then you can see every extended reading. Um, so bear with me on that. Um, this is, this is, you know, I'm an Aquarius. I have Aquarius all through my houses and different in my chart. So, uh, wow. 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 All right. So we're going to talk about it on the other side. Uh, Aquarius, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, like, like the video. Thank you. Um, share, comment, please comment below, subscribe to the channel, go over to the website, get your own personal reading so you can take it personally. Um, donate, let the exchange happen, Aquarius. Uh, my energy for your energy, which, you know, will be monetary, but it is the exchange, let the exchange happen. Uh, thank you, Aquarius. If you feel like you want to donate, you can click that buy me a coffee link below. You can text a question to the number below. If you just have a question, you want to ask the tarot cards. Uh, text your question, pay for your question, receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.